Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Baba Is You. I am so excited, y'all, look what I did! Look, it happened, it happened! The thing, okay, let me, I'm very excited, you can probably tell from the speed at which I'm speaking. Let me take a deep breath here. Let me tell you how I did this. Let me, let me just show you, you can probably tell I just like jumped right into recording here. Paused the YouTube video I was watching because I was so, so very pleased when this happened. Check this out, okay. So, I tried a bunch of different ways. I, I spent some time trying to put together the belt is shift, flag is shift, move the text onto a, a neutral space at the same time to see if they would stack up thing. And I just could not get it to work. The way that the belt is, is positioned down here, makes it so hard, like, because you have to have belt is shift and flag is shift like we were trying to do yesterday, while some of the text is on top of the belt while the belt is facing upward and the flag is... It, I mean, you saw yesterday, I could not do it. But at some point I realized that I don't need it to be the belt and text that are shift if the belt and text are just moved into text, if the belt and flag are just moved into text, because text is always push, right? So I figured out you can do this with text is shift moving the belt and flag, and that completely negates the, uh, the need to play down here in this horrible, horrible puzzle space. Um, so, if we just push this over here, this is is facing downward. I pushed it down from above. The flag is also facing downward, although I'm, I don't think that actually matters. And you can see the belt is up facing upward. The is is also facing upward. I'm pretty sure that the direction of the items doesn't matter because all they do is get shifted by the text. We hit space one time. The is is push the two uh, the two objects up and down respectively, and the objects push the text together, and bam, flag text, text flag, flag text 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 flag text. It's flag that is text, but also the word text that is text in the in the in the thing. <clears throat> so we just we just did it, right? How many? This is one, two, three, four spaces. So we're not gonna be able to break this once we start moving it. Um, it's fine though. We have we have this extra word. I brought I brought us an extra word because I was thinking ahead. You know, I packed a lunch. Uh, oh right, the the words have to be facing the correct direction. We've been we've been there. We know this. Oh right. Oh, okay, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. I just didn't retrieve the word is from down here. We gotta restart the puzzle, but that's, like, very, very fixable. I was not thinking all the way ahead. This is, this is extremely doable, I just didn't remember to grab the extra is. Okay, so... Actually, sorry, we still want one word down here, because that's how we push the belt up. I don't think it actually matters where we construct text is shift. So we were, we were a lot of the way to the solution yesterday, I just hadn't... And I had even come to the important conclusion that you can't do it down here and as such the belt itself cannot be shift. I just hadn't finished working out the chain of logic and I was starting to feel a little self-conscious about the amount of screwing up I was doing on video, if I'm being honest. Alright, so then we gotta move the flag up to here, and it doesn't actually matter what direction the flag is facing. I spent a lot of time making that part right, but it just needs to be... It's here, right? Because it's going to be flag, blank, text. Or the, the, you know, the two words have to have a blank between them. So I think it's fine that that's right there. You have to put this, sorry, you have to put this down here, but the is has to have been pushed up most recently. And then same deal over here. The is has to have been pushed down most recently. I'm so pleased with myself. There are hardly words. I try not... I try not to spend a lot of my day sitting around being pleased with myself. Uh, it's a very destructive habit, but I feel pretty damn good about that, if I'm being perfectly honest. Okay, so flag text is... Sh oh, wait, hold on. This has got to be pushed that way. And then also we got to get some is's in the way. Flag, flag text 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 is shift is is. Obviously. Who could possibly doubt it? Right, the t <laughs> I just tried to walk through that flag, even though we know it is shift. Oh my god, you guys. Look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Alright, so, how do, how do we actually make this happen? 
We have to push all the flags into the relevant doors. And just sacrifice two babas. I guess it's actually pretty straightforward here. We don't we don't really need to think about this one too hard. I had to be Wait, can I not do that? Why can I not do that? Uh-oh. Was all this for naught? <laughs> did, did I discover a thing we didn't need to do? I guess because you can't push the word level. Hmm. Okay, no, this isn't a big deal. We we just... We have to have this Baba come up and make the flags not push for a second so that we can separate the objects and not everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Had a terrifying moment there. Sorry, I need to not do that that way, though. Uh, you get over here. There we go. Push this. And then middle Baba has to push the flag into the door without bottom right Baba accidentally obliterating the word ghost. Very important thing to avoid here. Because I think we're going to need almost all of the pieces. Alright, and then we can walk you into the other spot of the water. Okay. So now we form cursor as level. Then we do flag is cursor to get the other flag over here so that we can well let me let me sorry let me finish opening the doors first you guys i'm trying to say guys we're trying to be a little more inclusive y'all i feel so good about having made so much progress on this like this puzzle right here this is baba is you to me <laughs> there's all this other stuff that was all the preamble that was tutorial that got us to the actual game here this rules this right here this screen and the things you have to do in it is my favorite puzzle game of all time i'm really enjoying this okay so cursor is level and we would really like that to why did i push that into a corner do i have no no sense of self-preservation We'd really like this to happen in a place where it's not gonna be um, on top of another level, ideally. Alright. There is, in fact, a level inside the cursor. As, I mean, at a certain point, you know there must be, right? The, the logic of Baba starts to, steal, uh, starts to feel familiar. So now we have to do Flag is Cursor, which we've done a whole lot of times. And then that cursor becomes a ghost, and then the ghost becomes a cursor, and you sound like a crazy person whenever you talk about Baba is you. At the beginning of the game, it's just because every every step in every level solution sounds like existential poetry. Really, what is you? But then it gets it gets a lot weirder as, as you continue to go on. Uh the best way to do this is... Honestly, we can collapse these two, right? Because we can just turn the cursor back... In. Yeah, I'm just going to collapse the babas. What am I doing? I'm making life so much difficult. So much difficult. Uh, Alright, so then we have to make... Cursor is ghost with a leftward push, ideally. So let's get this ready. And then I gotta... Uh, sorry, this should, these should probably be a little bit further to the left. There we go. Okay. Then we just move the thing up here, and then I guess it doesn't really matter where the ghost is when it becomes a cursor again. It just needs to be somewhere where we, where we can walk over to it and grab it. Because it's not going to be able to move at all. You know what? It being on that line is fine. That's that's very retrievable. Oh my god, y'all. We're going to see that. We're going to see the level finally. I bet it's going to be... The hardest thing. <laughs> and I'm going to find myself unable to solve it. And it's going to be a huge pain in the ass to get back into if we leave it without finishing it. Uh... Oh, of course it would be a level about the cursor. Of course. So, line is stop, but we can move the cursor along the line still? Alright. Well, we can do Cursor is You, which is a thing we've never had the opportunity to do before. But in order to do Cursor is You, we would have to... Okay, um, let's get the Cursor over here. We have to get the Cursor to a place where I can get it on to Baba, and then we can walk it over to here, and then we can make Cursor is Baba, maybe? Not 100... Okay, here we go. Well, I can't actually access the word sink. I was going to say, let's get this out of the way. If I put Baba in the little alcove, then it's easy to get the cursor on him. I don't think I can actually get the cursor on Baba as things stand right now. 
Um, right, because any any place that where we would execute a movement, it's going to move Baba away before the cursor moves onto him, and the cursor always moves last. So we have to construct a situation where Baba can't move in order to do that. I guess you could sacrifice any word down on the bottom of the screen here, right? If we can just um, create a situation where... Boy, this is actually a little harder than I wanted it to be. Um, okay, up here, up here, up here. We can we can get Baba left of the cursor like this. Then we can do no. That's I have to get the cursor back left of Baba again though. Eventually, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Well, then let's not sacrifice the word, shall we? Let's keep that word active, even though I don't. I don't know. I guess push could be useful once once if if cursor is Baba, then you can. How does how does cursor is Baba interact with the fact that? the um the line is stop that's just not even a little bit the thing <laughs> the thing that i was trying to do uh sorry cursor is baba i'm assuming i'm 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 not gonna be able to move on to a space that is stop yeah we can't move left or right but we could move up or down and then obviously it's irreversible once we've done so okay figured but always at this point always double check We could use that as a way of retrieving the word sync. We make the cursor be right here when we turn it to Baba. Here's the problem. If we turn the cursor to Baba, we can't um, get it back. We could do Baba has cursor, Baba is sync, but there's nothing to sync on because we can't occupy the same space as the text and we can't occupy the same space as the line. So how would we... Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as Baba's not pushed, we could just use one of the Babas to push text onto the other Baba. You know, it's a start. It's not a horrible idea. It's not the worst plan we've ever had. So get above the line. Okay. Let's get above the line a little bit more. Okay, so I need I need this whole thing to come down a space. And then also be over a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so now I have all the words. I mean, is this valuable if the only thing that this does is allow me to... Um, well, I, okay, I was about to say, is this valuable if the only thing this does is allow me to maybe kill Baba so that we have a Baba and a Cursor when we started with a Baba and a Cursor? But I think the answer is yes, because without moving the word sync, we had no way of getting the Cursor off of this group of lines and onto this group of lines, which we now do. <clears throat> so the plan is, you want to get the Cursor deposited over here, and then something. If a cursor is you, does it retain the cursor ability to move around on the lines even when they're stopped? Maybe the entire puzzle is just making cursor is you while you have a living cursor. Let's try it. Let's see if that's let's see if that's a thing. So okay, Baba is sync. Well, Baba has cursor. As always, just doing a fantastic job. Actually, no, I was right here. Doing a fantastic job of having multiple bodies. As everyone knows, it is the easiest thing in the universe. Now we're gonna lose the word that we use to set this up. So what we want is for these two to be one space apart on the same line. Okay. Now when we push right, the cursor will jump onto there. And now we make cursor as Baba. We have the Baba in here. Push down Baba is you. And then we cannot do the same thing because now I don't have the ability to to kill one of the Babas to regain the existence of a cursor. 
So we'll, we'll be able to make cursor as you, but we won't have a cursor to play with. Uh... I do not know how to fix that problem. But I feel fairly sure that this is what we're supposed to do, because I can't see any other way that you could make cursor as you. Oh, sorry, you have to be... The cursor has to be on one of these two lines when you do it, though. Because you can't walk the Baba back across the lines. And so really, we want to finish this with a rightward press to ensure that we can do the thing we're trying to do here. There we go. Okay. So now we have to figure out a way of turning one of the Babas back into a cursor. Baba has cursor, while Baba is sync, is less good. Oh, actually, no, but if, if we just make cursor as you and then we do Baba as cursor, at this point it should be fine, right? I, I think. I don't know how this is going to work. I have no idea what the rules are going to be for the cursor while the cursor is you, because the cursor clearly has some unusual rules. Okay, and while we're you, we can just walk off the line afterward. What a weird puzzle. Not actually that difficult. Thank God. And for a second there, I panicked, because I was like, Oh my god, what do you mean area not complete? But right, we still have a... Still have a problem. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's... Do this. This is this is relatively easy to do now that we've we've reconstructed a flag back in here. He says it's relatively easy easy to do, but actually, wait, how are we gonna? Oh, we have the word level right here. So wait, if I, when I break this, I don't want to push the word level off to that side. I don't want to trap it against the wall. Okay. Yes. Good. Wait, I still have to be super careful. There's too many damn variables here. Uh, Alright, so we gotta... We have to not burn that... Hold on, we have to not burn this flag. I was about to destroy this flag. All we actually have to do here is open this door and then move some words around. So hold on, let me, let me try not to destroy that flag. Let me try to leave that flag in a place where it is accessible. Okay. Then is and flag have to come down here. I'm having a real good time with Baba is you. <laughs> How could it be anything else, I ask you? Um, wait, uh, there we go. Another way. There's got to be another way. I should have known. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny for it to be for, <laughs> for the last puzzle that you are likely to access, except for maybe the one inside the cursor, to be another version of the puzzle that was the fake ending. That's pretty funny. All right, what are our rules here? Rock is rock, wall and rock are both stop. Baba is push and hot, ice is melt, ice has wall. All pretty familiar. Um... So it looks like we can do some kind of version of the rock is push strategy, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Because we have a skull problem. Also the word box. Also we have this word box. So we get the rocks out of the way. We do the whole rock is weak thing. We can make Kiki his move. And we have this idea of a box. There are no other rules that involve the word box. What is it that you're supposed to do here? Because obviously pushing, <laughs> pushing the word defeat to the left, not that helpful. We can make rock as push, we can make rock as weak. How does this help us disarm the skull? The line of skulls. Oh, the skull is box. 
is how you fix that problem. I was like, why is the word box here? Box doesn't have any rules associated with it. Turning a thing into box doesn't give it any properties. But of course, you're not trying to give it properties, you're trying to take properties away. So it doesn't matter that Skull is defeat if Skull is box. So wait, the way you do this is you come in here, you push rock down, you... This is a little bit different than it was last time, isn't it? Shoot. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh... Because I can't, I can't just push the words in the way I'm used to pushing the words in. We could push the kiki in. Have maybe like have the kiki walk horizontally back and forth. Well, all right. My thought there was, if we have the kiki walk, if we push the kiki in and have the kiki walk back and forth, then we can just feed up the word is, let the kiki push it over and walk back, and then feed up the word push. But um, doing that is a problem. Because there's no way to actually make the kiki turn into the horizontal direction unless you push the kiki up right here. And then come up here, push the kiki to go sideways, and then come back out to go fetch the words. And once you've done that, this is a solid wall that you can't affect. And you can't push more words in from the top because of the way this is shaped. So... If you made it so kiki was not push, if you push the kiki in, then make kiki not push, then push a word in on top of the kiki. No, that doesn't help anything. It's still going to end up being the case that we can have at most a word in this position. Yeah, putting it. Putting any object up into this row makes it impossible for us to put a second object up into the row, and we do need two words to get in there. Oh, no, the other way around. You do it the other way around. You have the Kiki walking vertically here, so that the Kiki pushes the words up. Kiki can cross the ice multiple times, and you stand right here and push them to the right. I think I have it. I think, I, I think that's an actual solution. Maybe. We'll see. It is a little awkward for me to have done it this way, though. Let me let me actually rewind the puzzle. I want to put the Kiki in position before we move any words. So we get you over to here so I can get you away from the wall. There we go. I stand in here to fix the text. Kiki just pushes the words up to me. So the way we want to do this now is... Kiki is move will be there, and we want let's see, we need push. We need is. And I guess we don't actually need another word, because Kiki can walk on the ice. It's not a big deal if Kiki's on the ice, so that's fine. Yeah, I think I think this just works. Come down here and push rock in. Kiki, you're so helpful. Okay, and then Kiki gets to just walk back and forth forever, secure in the knowledge that they are helping us. Rock is weak, smashy, smashy. Take that. And then Skull is box. Okay. Problem solved. Flag is win. And, and and so are we. I mean, not really, but we are spatially coincident with win, and that's good enough. Sometimes, even better. <sighs> oh, it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful sounds we've ever heard. So, now we have a flower on this thing on this screen. Huzzah! <laughs> okay. 
we <laughs> we have a small number of puzzles remaining, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50. I'm still not 100% sure that we didn't miss a whole area. I mean, we've been going back and starting from the beginning. We could work puzzles on this screen. Uh, let's go let's go back up to the world map and, and keep working stuff up there. It's all the world map, I guess. It's the multiple world maps. We have so many world maps. Okay. That's lovely. We have a lot of flowers left to earn. Uh, cursor. Cursor is... Cursor. It's not you. It has its own life. Its own rules. Its own life. Alright, so that's the flower garden. It's number eight, the chasm. Number eight is the chasm. There are a lot of uncompleted puzzles. Here in the chasm. There's also a lot of completed ones, to be fair. We did some good work here. I don't even remember what the chasm was about. What is puzzle E? Aren't we always? Love is push, rock is move, door is shut. So you gotta... Oh dear, you have an all. So you make... You can't do all is open. You can only use all as the second part of a declaration. I'm, I'm, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to play with all for a second here. Remind me what it does. It's every one of the objects that is on the uh, on the level, right? Everything that's sort of like possible to build on the level. Okay, so, obviously this is not 100% ideal to just make an infinite number of babas. That's gonna, that's gonna become a problem eventually. But the idea is you would make, like... Also, it's interesting that we have access to these. I don't know why. But it feels, it feels pretty important. So, flag, not on wall is win. When we do something is all, it's producing flags, but they're on top of wall spaces. And even if they weren't on top of wall spaces, they're not accessible. Or even if they weren't not win due to being on top of wall spaces, they're inaccessible anyway because wall is stop and there's no way for us to move a thing that is stop or move the things that are not stop but are on top of the things that are stop, I think. Like 80% sure. We did. My point is, we can make a lot of flags, but it's this flag that matters to us. So the all thing is actually kind of a problem. Like, it is, in theory, a way to produce additional... Uh, it is, in theory, a way to produce additional objects that are open for to make the doors uh, open, but... Anytime something is all, it produces walls. So you want to, like, you want to do rock is all, and then rock is move, and then break rock is all. So that you have a couple of other things. And then every time, I'm assuming every cycle that a rock is in a place that's not already full of objects, it will produce a heart. And then we do love is move, and we get the hearts to move off of the spaces that they're on. Okay, I, I think this is pretty doable. Hmm, but making rock is all while rock is move is a little tricky, huh? Because we're gonna lose access to... Oh, no, we're not. I was gonna say, we're gonna lose access to the move keyword, which we need the love to be later. But we're not, because we can just push all to the right, and then we can move the rock is up out of the way, so we can make love is all. Or love is move. Alright, I think I see it. I think I, I think this sounds like a solution. So do this thing. This does not interact with the fact that we can push stuff into this space, you know, that there's not like a blocker here, which makes me wonder if there is a solution that plays with that space. Alright, so we just need this to happen a couple of times, right? Okay. Wait, this is going to be a problem, though. I 
I guess I don't know what the what the facing of of love is here. But we we don't know what direction these loves are gonna move when we make love is move. I guess let's go find out. So we only get one, because they're all facing right. That's an issue. Yeah, that's an issue. The fact that they're all facing the same side is a real problem. So wait, where's the rock that was in this space because the rock should have made I guess okay the way the way is all works is the rock the rock produces it makes it so the space that the rock is in has all the objects it does not spawn all the objects it makes it so it has all the objects so the object that became all will not be duplicated you will never have more than one rock doing this the way we did it all right so our problem here really is just that our rock ran into a wall and got stuck there. Because if this if we had stopped the process with the rock not up against a wall, hitting love is move has the love move out one side of the thing and rock is move would cause the rock to move out the other side of the big ball of infinite objects. So actually, I think all I really have to do to f uh, well that's inconvenient. All I really have to do to fix this is make rock is push have it do its thing out here, and we have to, um... Okay, we have to get it before it hits the hard edge of the screen. And I think everything else about this solution will just work then. Maybe. I feel, <laughs> I feel relatively confident. So we definitely want this in place. We want to make rock is all and then break rock is all like as quickly as possible, right? There's no reason. Ooh, wait, no, don't do it like that though. That's a problem. Stupid additional babas. Uh it's easier to break, yeah, like this. Because the babas will move left instead. Okay. So we get our rock. Then we let rock is move happen a couple more times. Uh, I may have created a problem by starting the rock exactly there. I'm just collapsing Baba's. You know how it is. <laughs> you know how we do. Actually, this Baba that's trapped up here might might be the solution to all of my problems. What a what a noble creature this Baba is. Do we end up needing that is? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I I have created a problem here with my positioning of the rock. We're just going to wind this back a little bit. It would be really helpful, actually, if this rock were slightly differently positioned. We need it to give us just a little bit more breathing room. Oh, no, wait. The is is good. The is is right where it needs to be. Okay. Now, when we do love is move, this love will, it's facing left right now, probably. It will try to move left, get blocked, and then turn around and walk out because it can safely walk out, and then we break love is move. Absolutely doable. I'm gonna collapse all my babas on top of each other so that I don't accidentally cause any problems while pushing things. You know, it's just one baba. Try to ignore the number of legs that you can see. It still looks like only two ears. Well, uh, they're kind of blurry. But, but it's just two ears. I'm asking you to trust me here. Okay. And then... Wait a minute. This is a problem. I was going to say, now that we have two objects and we can just make them 
you know, open and push, and voila. But actually, this is still not resolved. Because without both of the is's available to us, we do have an issue. Oh no, okay, I get two loves. With two loves, we're okay, because I can... I can just break this right now. Make... Love is... Push for a little while, just get, get him positioned. And then do vertical love is open, horizontal love is move, and just let them break the doors for me. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about the fact that the love was going to come out the other side, too. I mean, that's really the secret to life, right? You really want to have love spewing out of both ends. It's the, the only way to get all those doors open. Uh, don't take life advice from me, everybody. That's maybe the, the one good piece of advice I can give you. Okay. Hey, we got there. And that opens up a new thing. Yeah, there's still, still puzzles we haven't even seen in this area yet. I do like it when they're grayscale. So... All is shut. Rock is open. And the rock has a Baba in it right now. Obviously, the core issue here is that if we sacrifice the rock, we're going to have a problem over here where it says Baba on rock is win, or at least where it will. We want to make it like rock has rock is... Oh, wait, what? Why did that happen? Hold on, what am I missing? Rock is open. Rock has Baba. Okay, but the fact that the rock is all is shut, rock is open. Hmm. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can do... Boy, that's a little... That's a little tricky, actually. So why is this like this? Why do we have these stops here? Like, why isn't all is shut just pressed up against the corner? Do we actually know what will happen if all is you? Is there a way that we, can we do that? Not really, right? Hmm. Yeah, no, there's no way we can do all of you. So the only ways to do it would be to have... Uh, we, could, we could set... Baba is you, push Baba up once, and then the is you over twice, which obviously would require something else to be you in some way, or we would have to, um like, break it off here, and have is and you be pushed upward three times each, which is also a thing that cannot happen. Alright, so... It's a super weird construction, though. I can't stop looking at it. Why is it like that? It's actually not super easy for us to get the Babas further apart, which makes me... A little leery of collapsing them any further than they are collapsed already. So we need to make a, a rock, or... I mean, no, we can make Baba is open. I was gonna say we can make Baba is open and Baba has rock, but we actually can't, can we? Because Baba is you is not really negotiable here. If we do Baba is open... Okay, it could be the case that all is all is like that just so that we can add... Again, it, if all was just in the corner here without these two being there, we could make all is stuff. Why is it like this? Why are there stops there? 
That's real weird. Uh, obviously, all is open is devastating. It destroys everything on the map. Um, so if we do Baba is open, we just push one of the Babas into the wall and break it. Actually, yeah, if we push one of the Babas into the wall, break ourselves a hole, we can go get all is weak. But that's not going to do anything. Yeah, all is weak doesn't actually help, does it? Because we can't, um... I guess I'm going to try it to verify. But I believe it is the case that all is weak will not let me... Oh yeah, all is... what am I doing? I believe it is the case that all is weak will not let me destroy the wall because uh, Baba can't enter the space the wall is in still. You can destroy a thing that is shut with a thing that is open while one of them is stopped, but you cannot do a similar thing with weak. And also, looking at it, obviously all is weak would also kill Baba, If you, even if you could do that. It would kill both Baba and the wall, because they'd both be touching stuff. So... Hmm... There does not seem to be a very easy way through this wall. Right, the, the way this is set up, you could not generate a rock very easily. We could do... We can do Baba Has Rock and kill one of the rocks, but we cannot... Uh, try to kill one of the Babas, but I don't think there is actually anything we can do that kills one Baba. We can kill both of them quite easily. If you define Baba is open while at the same time making Baba has rock Trying to figure out if there's a way that I can, like, use one of the Babas to break... No, because Baba won't have open until after the move is completed. So you couldn't use... Hmm. You're never going to be able to have an object that is open for a movement cycle. You will never be able to push a thing that is open into the wall. Because anything that is open will die immediately. Does it does it look like it happens before or after the move? Before. Looks like it happens right away at the beginning of the cycle. So yeah, you're never going to be able to push an object like you, you don't have a thing in the open state for long enough to execute a push on it even if you somehow did manage to make it like spawn at the end of the previous cycle. So this isn't about figuring out a clever way to make an open object and push it into the wall. It's some other definitional uh, type solution. You can do an all has. Yeah, what's that look like? All has, all has, Baba. Baba is open. We could do that. Wait, wait, wait. I want to move left. Because we want to be able to be two spaces apart. I don't know if this... I think this will work. I don't know. This is maybe not the solution they intended, but it's probably a solution. <laughs> so let's... Move the has over to here. Get you out of the way. I think all has Baba is you is good. Like, that'll, that'll do the thing I want. This feels a little silly. It'll be fun, though. It'll be a fun situation we're crafting. I'm going to lose my other is. 
So let's move that out of the way here. Okay, all has Baba, and Baba is you. Then, Baba is open. And our Babas are constantly dying, but they are also constantly being reborn, and we can do whatever we want with them. Grr. Okay. Now what? <laughs> now what? Smart guy. Ah, okay. So this is placed this way so that the things are retrievable. Mmm. Mmm. He sees it. I'm gonna munch up the wall a little bit more. You know, we may as well just open things up. I see no reason not to. There are so many Babas in that space. <laughs> it's so awful. It's so awful. Okay. We do this thing. No, sorry, we gotta break Baba is open first. What am I thinking? Okay, so we're no longer constantly dying. Some of these Babas are only one Baba. So now I'm thinking we do Baba has rock. Or sorry, all has rock, rather. We do all has rock and then Baba is weak? Nope. Not the, not the way. Yeah, 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 okay. Now we do Baba is weak, and it's going to blow up this, and I think that are both multi-Babas, and the Babas will produce a bunch of, um, those Babas will produce a bunch of rocks, and then we do Baba on rock is win, and, and things are good and cool again. Oh, apparently they're all multi-Babas. Shoot. Well... That's a problem. All right, let's back it up a little bit. And try to do this without producing so many multi babas. Some something has to be a single baba at the end of this process. So let's back it up. Okay, right now, right now we got a lot of single babas. All these, all these single babas. Now I think we have a single and a double. But also, I've managed to do this in such a way that I can't actually move the words back. Oh, darn it. I need to, um, I need to retrieve an is. Uh, okay, um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna create and uncreate ourselves across the level real quick. So I need to change the shape of our deal here a little bit. I think this will let me scoop the word open. Should still be fine? I think. No, I need the... Damn it, it's right. I need... Because there's nothing right there, I can't just press up here. I actually need... Um... Yeah. This is... Okay, here we go. I need a scoop. This is not super loud for me. I apologize if it is super loud for you. Okay. Now, we have, for sure, a single Baba right here. We're gonna go and compress these Babas. Do this thing. And now, when we do Baba is weak in a second here, we have at least one spot where we know we will have a survivor. Let's go get the Baba is weak. Uh, all has to have rock first. Pretty important part of the process that I'm really glad I didn't forget. 
Okay. Um, why are the rocks push? All has rock, all is shut. Rock, oh, because it says rock is push right there. But, but, okay, but Baba is not push. Is there a way I can push a rock onto a... Shoot, okay. If we end this process with two single Babas, then we could do a push onto your self thing. A push a thing onto your self type thing. Where's the phase where we stopped having... Okay, here. So let's separate these guys enough that we have multiple... Okay. That's a problem. This is actually going to be, like, very non-trivial. Because we need to have one doubled Baba and then at least two single Babas. That works, right? I think. Oops. Okay, now, now I think we're good, so... Unless I've managed to screw this up again by not, by somehow not looking all the way to the end. Every single time I do it, I think, okay, I figured out all of the parts that we need to figure out. And then, of course, uh, not so much. Okay, we have a rock, which is the number of rocks that we actually need. Everything is fine. We produce this shape again. And then we just shove one of the rocks onto the Baba. There we go. Again, stuff that would have been a lot harder to do had we done it when we originally got here, because there were there were tips and tricks that we didn't know yet, like that thing about pushing objects onto yourself, and not stuff we couldn't have figured out. And in fact, this is probably where we would have figured it out, and then, you know, used it more easily in the other places. But certainly easier here, for the fact that we did it the, uh, the way we did it. Well, so the moon is when... Rock and water is stopped, but water, at least, can be made sink. It's interesting. So you can make something push. So you can make something push, but you're gonna, you're gonna have some problems here. Rock and water both have to be pushed at the same time for you to be able to make water sink. Which we can do by doing, uh, you know, rock is, rock is push and water is word and then putting this water and the is down here. My concern is that um, once we do that, it's going to be hard to break. But we don't need to break water is push. We need to break rock is push after doing it. Oh, wait, you have to... Sorry, water has to be pushed first because we got to push the water down there. Yeah. Which means you have to start with water is push along the vertical axis, because otherwise you can't retrieve the word water for later. And we do need to retrieve the word water for later. Okay. Now we go water is word. Water is push. And it's fine for water to remain push. No, because this is going to make it impossible for us to push the rock. Like, it's okay for this part, and then we do this, but now it's going to make it impossible for us to push this rock into this water, which we do need to do. Um, it's like you need to push the rock into the water, then rock has to stop being push. Then you walk past this rock, which is no longer push. You push this water out of the way, and you walk past the rock, which is not push, to get to the moon. So wait. Water is 
Water has to be pushed for the uh, for the water to be able to become sink later. Well, what am I doing? Does it? Does, this rock is. The rock will stop being stop. Yeah, the rock won't stop being stop until we fix this problem. So these do these do both have to be pushed initially. This is a little tricky because of the fact that you have to um. You have to get words stuck to get basic definition stuff done. It's a neat puzzle. So. Rock is push is the one that has to end up vertical because you have to break it. So you can never have rock is pushed down here. And you can't even do the object rock is push and rock is word so that you could later break the relationship because the way the is word is set up here, you can never break the relationship. Hmm. So rock and water both have to be pushed at one point, and then have to neither be pushed later. How do we accomplish that? They must both simultaneously be pushed, and then and then later must. Well, later it has to be okay. So there's no point where there's no point where it's true that they must both not be push. You have a point where rock and water must both simultaneously be push. Then a point where rock must be and water must not be. Then a point where water must be. Then a point where rock must not be. Oh no, sorry. The the, the last two things are at the same time, right? Because you have to walk past this rock to push the water. So yeah, it's both are then. Rock is, water isn't, then water is, rock isn't. So how do we do that? The problem is that the way it looks right now, it seems like... Oh, 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 oh. You can break water is push later by sinking something, right? So if we create the relation word water is word, and then object water is push, later we can drop a rock in the water to, uh, to undo it. So... But that's exactly the opposite of what we want. Well, it's, it's, sorry, it's, it's what we want briefly, but then we want to break rock is push. I think that's, I think this is doable, so okay. You want to do water is push first like we did last time. So that you can push a water into this position. Then... I don't know what, I'm what am I talking about? You can't break water is push by sinking a rock in the water to get rid of the rock, or the water, because water is push. You won't be able to push anything on top of it, it has collision. Grr, I thought I had a solution there for a moment. Because if you could do that... Is there a way to make this work? I guess you could sink a word. No, you can't. What am I talking about? I can break rock is push. I can push a word onto a rock. That's not super helpful. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't quite see it. I think, like, we have the idea of what needs to be done, but I don't quite see how to do it. Water is word. If we were to do rock is word up here instead. Water is word definitionally down here so that we could break the water. So like a rock there, the word water here. Then, right now, we can break water is word, or water is push. 
shove the rock into the water. But then water has to become push again, and most importantly, rock has to become not push anymore. Which does not work, right? Like I'm very I'm very focused on the last step of this right now. I'm trying to I'm hoping it's not making me miss anything silly. So right now you go water is not push and it lets you do this part just fine. And the water is push and it lets you do this part just fine. And now you have a problem where rock is permanently push and you can't you can't do anything about it. Uh, no, 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 that's not true. Aha! Here it is. Aha! It's it's exactly the plan we came up with before, but upside down. Instead of pushing the rock into the water, you push the water into the rock. Because it turns out sink is bi-directional. Okay, we've at least seen all of the levels in Chasm now. Baba is you and push, flag is win, where is my flag? Belt is belt and shift and not you, wall is wall and not you. Don't get too clever now. And we have a flag over here. We have the word flag over here. It's not possible for us to make the belts not shift. So this is a one way. Rock is word. So obviously don't push a rock in here. That would not be helpful. Um, and what do we do? We actually can't push anything in there, because we'll get stuck, right? I, I won't be able to move past it. Baba is push. That's interesting. Why do we have that? Why do we have Baba is push? So we can push some stuff up here. Not rock is word is not a very useful thing, I don't think. I mean, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to make rock is flag and then step on the flag. So, how, yeah, how do we do that? The rock is not push, but I'm push. We can push the rock down here, but we need a way to get it to move to the right. Um, there's no way to build. It'd be really helpful if the rock was you, right? But there's no way to build not something is you, except for not rock is you, which is supremely unhelpful. Because <laughs> we can't use that to move the, the walls or the belts, because those things are explicitly not you. Yeah, if we if we could figure out a way to make not not something is you. The belts in the wall cannot be redefined. They've really done a good job of locking down all of the <laughs> all of the fun options here. Uh Hmm. Not rock is word. Does that give us anything? That makes belt a word? That makes wall a word. But... We can't actually do anything with those, because we're, we're very limited on um, is's as well. So okay, if we made not rock is word, we don't actually have a lot of traits to be able to assign to anything, unfortunately. Yeah, so even if we made, like, not rock is word vertically here so that we have wall is something, the only thing we could actually do is, is wall is you or wall is an object redefinition, and both of those are specifically contraindicated. So this is another one of those puzzles where we have very few total options, and as such, we can kind of just brute force it. 
All right, I'm thinking I'm thinking too hard about not x is y, but there are other things we can do with not, right? Like um, x is not y, or no, we don't have a lot of um, we don't have a lot of other the fancy grammar bits. We can really just do not x is y and x is not y. Okay, what's x is not y do? What does that give us? Um, we could do wall is not you, rock is not you, rock is not word. Rock is not word is like phenomenally useless because you could just make it no longer the case that rock is word. Um, you could. I wonder, is there a sneaky way to make to negate one of these two rules, or, or part of one of these two rules with this not? No, probably not. We just don't have enough, we just don't have enough parts, right? If we, if we spend the not making not rock is word to gain access to wall as a word, we no longer have the not I'm, I'm kind of curious if you can make like wall is if you made wall is not wall it would negate this right yo can we do that hold on wall because if not rock was word no th these are too far apart there's there's no way to do wall is it would have to be wall is something and not wall which we don't have the parts for And again, in order for this to even work, the not would also have to be like not rock is word, which would require us to have more space uh, to the east than we have from that line. It does actually fit in a couple of places though, huh? If you if you had the not in like one of these spots, wall is not wall. So wait, not rock is word. Right here? Ah, not enough is's. If we had a second is though, we could do not rock is word, and then wall is not wall, and I think that would delete all of the walls on the stage. It's a cute idea, but we do not have the grammar for it. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do that one. We'll give that one some more thought. Let's, let's take a quick look at these other ones before we call it for the day. I mean, no matter what happens here, I've had a very successful episode, in my opinion. Flag on ice is win. The rock has the ice. The rock on the love is weak. So you gotta get a rock, you gotta put it on some love so you can get your flag. As ever. We can temporarily make Baba is more and get ourselves some additional bodies. And then the idea is you do some, like, Baba on thing is other thing. We do- we totally- we need- really badly need a second object. And I don't actually know how we how we develop the second object. Oh, you have to do okay. You have to do Baba is more, and then do some like um, collapse a couple of them and do Baba on Baba is X. So I don't know exactly how many Babas you want here. I think we want to uh, we want to put this in from this side so that we don't break the phrase Baba is you with our expansive bodies. Okay. I guess as long as you break it in one cycle, it doesn't matter. Alright, so then you go like, Baba on Baba is rock. Rock has ice. So yeah, we need a, we need a rock, we need some ice, and like, this is, this is pretty simple from here, right? Once you understand the trick of putting Baba, Baba on Baba, then... You just repeat this process a bunch of times, and I don't think it's terribly complicated. Nothing's push or anything, right? So, yeah. Do Baba on Baba is rock, and kabam! Rock. And then you get some more Babas. You do you do a little bit more Baba is more. Because you're going to need more than this number of bodies. No, wait, hold on. I totally do want to do this from the side, though, because otherwise I'm not going to have a lot of control over the number of babas it produces. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then you go... Uh, baba on Baba is... Well, I guess it, it, at this point it could even be rock. 
Baba on Rock is love. Yeah. And then that will that will produce a love which will destroy the rock, which will produce an ice. Nope, not what I wanted. Just too many bodies. Okay, so that produces a love. And then you need a flag. So Baba on Ice is flag, or ba Baba on Love is flag. Alright, I don't know why I didn't see this one before, but you know, it happens, certainly. We have lots and lots of hours of proof that it happens. Uh, no, down one. Here we go. Alright, Baba on Love is flag, and then... Oh, then you gotta break this so that you can have a Baba touch the flag without being annihilated. There we go. Alright, let's have a, have a quick look at five and six again before we call it. Kiki and the star. Lava is word. Kiki is sleep. Aw, adorable. What, is it? <laughs> what does that do? Uh, Baba is float would be real handy. Obviously, not 100% trivial to do. Star is win. Kiki is sleep. So you gotta be, you gotta make Kiki is you, right? Well, let's um, let's start with. Because I think what I really want here is to make it's got to be it's got to be something is you horizontal, right? So if we do, I need to I need to move this whole thing over by one. Because you want to build something is you horizontally so that you can push it all the way through and then displace the Kiki is sleep. And it's got to be the lava because you need to make lava is you and also lava is float. So... Yeah. It's got to be... Lava is word. Here you gotta have lava is you. This is a little tricky. The Baba ends up not being useful, I think. I know this is gonna cause a this is gonna cause a momentary breakage. Okay. And uh, then we put is word here. And then when I press down, that keeps me alive. I can float past the skulls who make Kiki is you and no longer sleep. There we go. Have we ever seen the, the sleep word again? The sleep keyword? I don't think so. Man, we're tearing through this. You know what? Doing a good job early in the puzzle just gives me all kinds of, all kinds of crazy puzzle solving energy. Oh, I remember, okay, this is about pushing stuff through the water. So the star is telly. You know what? I'm not going to put any serious effort into this. I put it on screen again. I'll have a look at it. This way you all can have a look at it too and get some idea of what we're going to be thinking about as we're going into the next episode. But I'm retiring on a big win for today. I think this episode was awesome. And I hope that you think that too. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow... Hopefully, I'll still have a little bit of this positive feeling, positive momentum, and we're just going to keep blazing through these early puzzles. And we'll see you then.